Five years ago, the young Christopher Robin befriended a group of unusual creatures in the depth of the Hundred Acre Woods. These creatures defied simple classification, as they were neither human nor animal. They introduced themselves as Owl, Rabbit, Eeyore, Piglet, and Winnie the Pooh. Within no time, they became close friends with Christopher, and the boy would regularly provide them with food and hung out with them. Sadly, their time together was limited, as Christopher had to leave to pursue higher education with the dream of becoming a doctor. Although he left for good intentions, the strange beings became angry at Christopher for abandoning them. As the cold, lengthy winter nights set in, they were left with no food to eat and had to fend for themselves. Overwhelmed by starvation, Pooh and the others reluctantly decided to feed on one of their own kind. Eeyore tragically became the first victim of this, and ever since that incident, the surviving members developed a deep hatred towards humans, especially Christopher, who they blame for abandoning them. With this, their feral nature regressed, and they vowed never to speak again. Time and again, unsettling incidents occurred within the woods, where mutilated bodies would be discovered. These incidents would garner media attention, prompting people to stay away from the haunted place. Now, five years later, Christopher is back in the Hundred Acre Woods with his fiancée, Mary. He wants her to meet his childhood friends. Even though Mary doesn't believe his story to be true, she doesn't shun him. Instead, she tries to convince Christopher that all the memories of his unique friends are only the imagination that he had created in his childhood. Mary assures that a child with a wild imagination is quite normal given his age. But the only reason Mary agreed to come to see these woods is for Christopher to face reality while she stands by his side. As they move deeper into the woods, Christopher hears a noise and immediately thinks of Pooh. Despite Mary yelling at him that it's not safe, he runs towards the source of the noise, ultimately arriving at the location where he used to spend time with his friends. Christopher finds the place somewhat different from what he remembers, so now he wants to find out what has happened to them. However, Mary experiences a sense of unease in this place. She urges him to return back immediately, but Christopher insists that she check the place out first. While they look around, the surroundings definitely hint at the existence of living creatures. Just then, Christopher finds a treehouse and decides to check it out. Together, they enter the structure, and Mary notices a picture of her fiancé. Seeing this messed up picture of himself makes Christopher more confused, and just when they are about to leave, they hear somebody walking up the stairs. Immediately, Christopher crawls under the bed, and Mary hides behind the headrest. Then the door creaks open, and a mysterious creature comes in and lies down on the bed. Meanwhile, with the utmost caution, the couple remain silent, still maintaining their hidden positions. As day turns to night, Christopher and Mary wait until they are certain the person on the bed is sound asleep. But unfortunately, the couple couldn't make it out safely, as their escape is intercepted by the piglet. Piglet uses a thick metal chain to strangle Mary, gripping her neck tightly. Christopher pleads with Piglet to stop, but his pleas go unanswered. Tragically, Mary dies right in front of his eyes, and it's too late to save her, so the only thing he can do is run for his life. However, Christopher soon gets cornered by Piglet on one side and Pooh on the other. He tries to remind them of their relationship, but his words hold no influence. Then, they drag Christopher back to their location and show him Eeyore's remains, leaving him stunned. A few days later, Maria and four of her friends, Lara, Zoe, Alice, and Jessica, arrive at the Hundred Acre Wood. This trip was suggested by Maria's therapist to provide a change of environment in her life. It is revealed that she has been suffering from mental trauma due to a creepy stalker, so here they are to take some time off. Additionally, Tina, another one of her friends, will be joining them later that day. The girls have rented a beautiful cabin with an indoor pool and jacuzzi for their stay. But before unpacking and settling in, Jessica collects everyone's phones so that they can fully enjoy their time together without being distracted by them. Meanwhile, Tina also arrives at the Hundred Acre Wood, but being bad with the directions, she gets lost. She tries contacting her friends, but their phones are unavailable at the moment. Feeling increasingly impatient, Tina ventures into the woods in search of a better phone signal. However, she encounters Pooh waiting for her in the corner. He pursues the terrified girl relentlessly until they reach an abandoned warehouse. In a state of panic, Tina tries her best to hide, but Pooh eventually discovers her. He then strikes her in the head brutally before stuffing her inside a shredding machine. Meanwhile, inside the cabin, the girls gather around for a conversation, and Maria opens up about her traumatizing experiences with stalkers. She reveals that one day, the stalker broke into her house and even tried to harass her while she was sleeping. Up until now, only Jessica was aware of Maria's suffering, 
and out of respect for her friend's privacy, she kept the secret to herself. But now that all of her friends are by her side, Maria feels like she is getting better over time. On the other hand, Christopher remains captive at the hands of Pooh and Piglet. With his hands tied, he is suspended from the ceiling. Pooh's anger ignites every time he sees Christopher, recalling his broken promise to grow old together. In a fit of rage, Pooh smashes everything around him and begins striking Christopher with Eeyore's tail. Furthermore, to psychologically torture the man, he places Mary's skeleton near him, after which Pooh drenches the terrified Christopher in blood. That night, Lara's music attracts Pooh's attention, who is wandering in the woods, dragging the remains of Mary. He curiously follows the sound and starts heading towards the girl's cabin. Upon reaching there, Pooh discovers Lara enjoying herself alone in the outdoor jacuzzi. It turns out that she had discreetly brought her phone along with her and seized the opportunity to click some pictures. But while going through her pictures, she notices a figure in the background. Suspecting it might be Maria's stalker, Lara quickly steps out to check if someone is there, but sees no one around. Then she returns back to the jacuzzi, this time with a sense of uncertainty. A few moments later, Pooh brings his companion, Piglet, with him. Then they render Laura unconscious and drag her out of the water. Upon regaining consciousness, she finds herself tied up and placed in the driveway. She begs for mercy, but Piglet pins her down and holds her firmly while Pooh drives right over her head. As a result, the poor girl's skull is crushed into pieces and her eyes are squished out. Immediately after hearing Lara scream, Jessica and Maria rush outside. The sight of Lara's body under the car fills them with terror, so Jessica quickly pulls Maria back into the cabin. As they enter, they find Zoe and Alice, who have returned after a romantic time together. But the girls are fixated on the chilling message written on the window from outside, saying, Get out. Eventually, Jessica gathers up her courage and breaks the news of Lara's death to Zoe and Alice. Since the front door was open, Maria warns her friends about the possibility of the killer inside the house. Scared for their lives, the girls decide to call for help. But just then, they see Pooh lurking outside the cabin. Reacting swiftly, Zoe and Alice rush to the kitchen to grab whatever they can find to defend themselves from the intruder. After a while, Zoe realizes that the back door is open, so she goes to close it. Alice also joins her, unwilling to let her girlfriend go alone. The two eventually reach the indoor pool area, where the back door is located. But suddenly, Piglet shows up and launches a surprise attack on them. Alice is instantly knocked down, while a terrified Zoe falls into the pool. But when she notices Piglet inching towards Alice, Zoe diverts its attention towards herself. Now, Piglet tries to attack Zoe with his chains, but when it does not seem to be working, he grabs a hammer and enters the pool. Despite Zoe's struggles in the water, she is unable to evade the fatal blow. By then, Alice also regains her consciousness, and upon witnessing the tragic death of her girlfriend, she collapses once again. In the meantime, Maria remembers that she has brought a gun with her. So, together with Jessica, she goes upstairs to get the weapon. But as they prepare to descend, the girls discover that Pooh has already infiltrated the house. Moments later, they see him and Piglet carry Alice out of the house. Determined to save their friend, the girls decide to follow the monsters. On the way, they come across the horrific sight of Zoe's lifeless body floating in the red pool. This devastates the girls, but they soon regain their composure and continue to follow the two monsters. Meanwhile, Pooh and Piglet bring Alice to their place and tie her down on the floor. Then, the paranoid Pooh, after filling a share of honey, strikes the poor girl several times. The very next morning, at the first chance they get, Jessica and Maria immediately go to rescue their friend. Realizing the danger of staying idle in this place, the girls quickly prepare to leave, but just then, they hear a human screaming nearby. At this point, their conscience doesn't allow them to ignore such a desperate cry for help. So, the girls begin searching the area, and soon, they find a wounded Christopher tied up. As soon as he sees the girls, he asks them to help her. However, just as they finish untying him, they hear another human scream nearby. Christopher informs them that a woman has been brought in by Pooh and Piglet earlier that day. He then pleads with the girls to help the woman immediately and save her life. Soon after, Jessica and Maria find a brutalized woman tied in the woods and instantly help her out. While they're walking, the woman sees her disfigured face in the mirror. Unable to control the outburst of anger, she lets out a loud scream. The girls try to calm her down, but the woman is so overwhelmed by the anger that she grabs Maria's gun and calls out Piglet, determined to kill it. She then rampages through the area, while Jessica and Maria hide in a corner. To make matters worse, the woman wastes a bullet by firing it in the air. Soon, the piglet shows up, and he stares at her with vengeance in his eyes. At this point, 
The woman has totally gone crazy. She tries to fire the gun once again, but for some reason, the weapon does not work. And to add to the terror, Pooh also arrives at the scene. He quickly knocks the woman over and pours a jar of honey on her, after which Piglet begins munching on her. Just then, Pooh notices the presence of unwanted visitors nearby. So, leaving Piglet with his prey, he chases after the girls. Jessica and Maria quickly run for their lives, but there is not enough time for Alice to get up and run. The best thing she can do is to stay hidden. Fortunately, she finds a huge hammer beside her, which she uses to knock Piglet down. And while this monster is unconscious, she manages to tie him up with his own chains. In the next scene, when Piglet finally wakes up, Alice strikes him with the hammer to exact revenge for killing her friends. She eventually kills him, and the monster's final scream resounds throughout the woods. Upon hearing this, Pooh races back to his house and lifts Alice by grabbing her neck. He then impales a knife through her mouth and brutally pins her on the tree trunk. The sight of this gruesome scene sends the girls crying, prompting Pooh to chase after them. Now, to save their lives, the girls sprint towards the road where they stumble across a group of local men in their car. The girls urge them that they need to leave immediately, but the men are slow to respond. By then, Pooh has already arrived, and seeing this weird monster in front of them, all the men are left bewildered. However, realizing that they are facing a violent beast, the men decide to fight head-on with Pooh. They immediately attack the monster with their tools, but nothing seems to injure him. It is pretty clear that they are no match for the monstrous Pooh, and within a couple of minutes, all of them are defeated. Meanwhile, the girls inside the car decide to take the risk, hoping to knock down Pooh with the vehicle. Unfortunately, things don't go as planned, as Pooh climbs onto their car and starts pounding on the roof. This results in the car getting into an accident in the aftermath. As Maria is trying her best to recover from the dizziness, she witnesses Pooh dragging Jessica out of the car and decapitating her. After this, the monster walks towards Maria and throws Jessica's severed head onto the windshield. He then yanks her from the vehicle and is on the verge of stabbing her, but right then, Christopher arrives and rams Pooh with another car. In the next scene, we see Christopher sobbing at the sight of Pooh pinned between two cars. It appears he still likes his former friend. He then goes back to check on Maria to help her flee the scene, but before they could escape, the powerful beast frees his body from the crash site. He then grabs a knife and starts to chase the terrified humans. At this point, the injured Christopher and Maria are unable to outrun Pooh, and they eventually get caught. Now, Pooh has Maria at the mercy of his knife, while Christopher helplessly begs him to let her go. He promises Pooh that he will live with him forever, but for that to happen, he needs to let go of Maria. Hearing this from his former friend, Pooh seems to hesitate for a second, but then he utters, you left, and slashes Maria's throat. Finally, Pooh releases Maria's lifeless body as she dies in Christopher's arms, realizing that his childhood friend has completely lost it and is beyond help. Christopher makes his escape while Pooh continues to stab Maria's head.